Hello everybody, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac, episode number two. We are going back onto our save file. Uh, I think we only have Isaac unlocked still. It would seem as though... Oh, we have Lazarus and Azazel. That's neat. I wonder how... Well, I know that's from Deals with the Devil. Lazarus, I have no idea. I don't remember how to unlock Lazarus, but we have him. Uh, we may as well play as Lazarus, I guess. I'm not a big fan of Lazarus, but I feel as though, you know, it'll be fun. It'll be different. We'll give him a shot. <sighs> so I believe that my problem with the layout looking funky uh, some of it was off of the screen in episode one. I believe that is fixed. I believe I fixed that. Ooh. I usually get these diagonal shots in a little bit easier, but it's been a while. It hasn't been a while since episode one, but it's definitely been a while since I've willingly played as Lazarus. I don't think that Lazarus has Lazarus rags when, uh, when we start here. Oops. I do not believe that he has his starting item right off the bat. I think he just has this pill. So uh, for now I'm going to assume it's that way. I think I'd be able to see it on the side. So I believe that is correct. There we go. That room took way too long. Mysterious candy. I believe this will leave an occasional trail of poop behind us every once every uh, every once in a while, which could be bad for something like that where something was chasing us. But I don't believe that it's too big of a deal. It's not something that I'm going to willingly drop uh, without a replacement. So boss room already. That could have actually saved me. I don't know if that took the damage for me or if I got out of the way fast enough, but I believe my audio is now faster as well. Or er, faster, uh, louder. It has better quality. That's fine. If you were don't really mind, may as well take this as well. What makes you larger? Oh, another thing about my first video. Uh, I'm so sad that you couldn't see my HP. I I beat Mom with half a spirit heart left. That was that was the whole point of that being dramatic, <laughs> but I think it was a lot of fun, and I would definitely do that run again. That was fantastic fun, good banter. So I think it's time to fight the boss. Hopefully we get a nice easy boss. Famine, that's not bad. I like Cuban meat. I like orbitals in general uh, for offensive and defensive purposes. I definitely believe that orbitals are one of the better better uh, item categories in the game. Whether it be well, I'm not gonna spoil the spoil the uh, items for people who don't know, but there are a lot of really good orbitals in my opinion. I enjoy them. I think they're some of the cooler items. Famine here is being sort of annoying. Okay, well if we can get him to keep destroying his own flies like that, it'll be really a lot less annoying. We're not doing a lot of damage yet, which has kind of been a problem. So, hopefully we get some sort of damage upgrade on the next floor. And hopefully we get a key so we can go into the item room on the next floor. And not forget like last time, that was embarrassing. I do apologize. Oh, I walked into it. I should have stopped in the middle of the shots. There we go. This one makes you larger pill is messing up my uh, my angles. Oh boy! I like the one makes you larger and one makes you smaller pill. I think they were a good idea to include, but man, do they mess me up sometimes. Ugh, I'm lucky I'm on easy mode right now. I don't think I even have hard mode unlocked yet. Ball of bandages. Um, between ball of bandages and cube of meat, which are the two items you can get from the horseman. I think I prefer, uh, pr well, I think that ball of bandages is just an objective upgrade because of the, what the level 2 does over the level 2 for cube of meat. 
so I don't really see a reason why cube of meat would be better. So I'm gonna have to say ball of bandages is the preferred one. To me at least. Aesthetically, I think it's cube of meat. Um okay. It's uh it's alright. Hmm. Dead eye. Oh, okay. I see. I see what Dead Eye does. I had forgotten momentarily, but I saw it looks like the more shots I hit consecutively, the stronger the tier gets, maybe? It seems to uh, have some sort of visual effect that is, to me at least, indicating damage. I'm gonna see if I can't kill this guy with a bomb, just because I'm gonna blow this up anyway, because it's a tinted rock. Perfect. Well, that was terrible. I completely messed up. Alright. Alright. Very nice. I don't think I've taken red heart damage on this floor quite yet. So I do believe that I'm still in contention for a deal with the devil, which is why I picked up that spirit heart immediately. And uh, I don't know if I went over this space bar item that I picked up or not, but it is magic fingers. Uh, it's not very good in my opinion, if you don't have a large amount of money. Because it takes money and does damage to something on the floor, or on the room. Everything on the room, I think, actually. It's not a item that I have a lot of respect for. I think that this uh, item that I have here actually doesn't reset until it... Oh, never mind. It does. I thought it was only resetting when you left the room, and uh, that seems to be a mistake. I'm not messing with this. Alright. Oh, there's a spawner as well. I almost didn't see you there. Okay. We have our boss room immediately. Do we go to that before we go to the shop? Do we want to go to the shop? Uh, well, we definitely want to go to that secret room, so let's just see what's in that first. Just in case if we get flying or something, that would help us. If we can get the transcendence yet, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, definitely worth our last bomb to check out the secret room. Three cents. Hopefully we get something a little bit better than that in these fires. Maybe a spirit heart. Nope. That's fine. No, that's fine. Nothing to worry about. I think we're still pretty strong just as Lazarus with these new tiers. I think we can take on this boss so long as it's not the haunt. Monster. Perfect. Even the haunt I don't think would have been much of a problem. Once you get the haunts patterns down, it's not that big of a deal. And the hard part of the haunt, moreover, is the little ghosts. The haunt itself isn't that difficult to me. And I think to the majority of the people that play this game, that's the way it is. Which is cool. That's the way it should be. The haunt is a relatively tricky boss. Monster is going down quickly, though. Oh, I think all the bandages just saved us there, and we do get to deal with the devil as well as breakfast. So, if there's some good items here... Nine lives. I think we have to take nine lives as well as dark matter. Dark matter is very good for the damage upgrade. Uh, do we take nine lives? I think we take nine lives. I really enjoy nine lives, and it's a guppy chance. I think we almost have to go for it, right? I don't want to get shot by these red fires if you're wondering why I'm shooting so awkwardly. Um, if we're taking nine lives, then we should play this down to half a red heart. Okay. Give me something, little man. Alright, you're not giving me anything. Oh, there we go. Spacebar item. Uh, I think that's better than the one we have as well. I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to pick up nine lives. I'm going to take mom's bottle of pills. I'm going to use this pill now instead of before because... Ooh, hoo, 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 that is very nice. One makes you larger. I don't really want to take another one of those. And 
I don't have a bomb to get into the shop, but I have eight cents. So I think it's worth a key here to go into the shop because we could get a spirit heart or a half, a half price item. Ooh, boomerang would be really nice. But what I want more than anything right now is a shop upgrade. So I'm going to see if I can't donate this money and get to uh, 20 cents as quickly as possible. 20 cents is the first shop upgrade. So let's go down to the next floor then. Ooh, I think this is uh, this is going to be a productive run regardless. Lazarus is one of my least favorite characters, but at the same time, it's not. Lazarus isn't too much different. I'm going to avoid that room for now. I'll come back afterwards. Okay, let's go up first. Not bad. I like these hosts that you can shoot even while they're down. Oh boy. Cutting a little close. I think I need to move a little earlier. Say that as I almost get tagged. Let's check this room out. That's not worth it. That's almost never worth it for just one. Unless uh, unless we really dire, we're in a dire situation. I don't think that's ever really worthwhile. I don't like these guys, so I'm going to get rid of them first. Because the, the flies that these guys spawn are way less annoying than the worms, or whatever you want to call them, that these guys spawn. In my opinion, at least. So, perfect. Somehow we didn't get hit by the crossfire there, or that fly, which is surprising. And the final mulligan. Perfect. And we get a battery charge. I'm going to save that. I will pick that up when we have a more efficient way to use it without wasting the two rooms that we have, or wood, if I were to pick it up now. Um, and it looks like we're going down over here. Good thing I waited, I remember those spikes. Phew. Okay, just a mulligan, that's easy. Yeah, it's my least favorite kind, but that's fine. It's better than the Suicider ones, actually. Like, those are the worst. I don't like these guys getting feared. Any enemy that shoots in an odd pattern. Moreover, the unpredictable patterns, but... You know. Well, I'm not going to be using that, so I may as well take this with me. Ugh, I may as well take that. In our item room, $3 bill. That's fun. That's a random tier effect. That'll be fun. And one more room, and we have two pills. Once we finish off one more room, we have to backtrack for it, but that's not that big of a deal. If we go through here, very easy. Come over here. I want to... Oh, I think we have concussive tiers for this room, I believe. Oh no, fire. Fire tiers for this room. That's pretty good. $3 bill is a solid item, in my opinion. Two, three, triple shot, what? Oh, it's random, and you don't get them per room with $3 bill. That's right, you get them per shot. Uh, I forget things sometimes. <laughs> I'm going to go back into a room with a battery. Ooh. Uh, I'm going to stop here, I don't trust it. I'm going to go back into a room with a battery and use our pills. Pheromones, Pheromones is fine. Let's get another pill. Paralysis. It's good we used it on a room without enemies. We're gonna go down this time and take this, uh, this final spacebar item use. And then we get range up. Worth it. In my opinion, that was, uh, worthwhile to backtrack for all that. We didn't get a lot, but we got enough to make it worth it. And we still have our death card. Um... I'm probably going to save our death card for a big room, meaning a 4x4 room. Okay, we have triple shot. This is probably not the time for triple shot. When everything was chasing us around, it was getting a little spooky. Uh, 2020 is a fantastic item, in my opinion. One of the best items in the game, even. Well, one of the best support items in the game. It's not going to win you the game by itself like uh, some of the other ones would, but regardless, it's very good. Oh, okay. This is... That was spooky. Uh, fuse cutter. 
I would rather have this. And I think we've done everything on this floor aside from the shop and the boss. So let's do the boss. Gertie Jr., one of my least favorite enemies. Uh, especially when feared. You never know where they're going to... Oh boy. Okay. Well, our damage with $3 bill usually is phenomenal. And we got to deal with the devil, which is really nice. Contract from below. Is contract from below worth it? Uh, it'll get us more spirit hearts, so I guess. I guess I'll take it. And let's just go. We can't do anything in the shop. This run, I'm unsure how I feel about this run right now, simply because they're- oh boy. <laughs> that was close. Uh, simply be- oh, okay, that's not good at all. Oh, but we finished it. That's fine, then. It's not the end of the world. Uh, I'm going to try to get these guys- oh, okay, I don't have to, actually. I was going to try and break them all apart as much as I could, and then uh, use the death card to finish off all the smaller pieces. But I got a well-timed explosion from the fire shot and didn't need to. So thank you for your dollar bill for saving me a death card. Yeah, fuse cutter. That's why I prefer fuse cutter over a mysterious candy. Let's go to the left. Alright, what do we have over here? What are these guys? These guys aren't so bad, so I don't think we have to use our death card on them. I'd rather save our death card for, as I said before, a large room, some form of big room. I think that uh, it's more useful. Stigmata, not bad. Range up, very nice. I'll take a range upgrade. Stigmata is a damage as well as health upgrade, which is very nice for us considering we were running a little low on health, which is a pretty common problem in this game. For me, at least. I'm going to use our death card. I don't trust myself to not take damage in this room. I don't like the bats that much. Uh, death card isn't very good on boss rooms, in my opinion. So I don't really feel bad about using it there. We've been to our item room, so I think we can absolutely fight our boss before we finish off this floor. And it's just Gertie. So I think we're good here. Gertie is a super easy fight. We're actually doing a very healthy amount of damage. This is nice. This feels really nice. Alright. Very nice. That was a very good fight. Another deal with the devil, really. Fantastic. I'm taking the lunch first. Oh. Oh, we gotta we gotta go for it. We gotta go for the guppy. The guppy dream. So I took Guppy's Collar, which does a very similar effect to um, Nine Lives, but it it's more random. It's not a fantastic item, but I took... That's, that's Guppy item number two, basically, is why I took it. Uh, if we get three Guppy items, we can turn into Guppy, which is one of the most broken transformations in the game, and I would love to show that off. Ooh. And the second item I took was Spirit of the Night, which allows me to fly. Uh, I'm going to do this because we can do it for half a heart. Okay, uh, Fuse Cutter, thank you. I still, I don't think that was really worth it, but it was worth it for a chance. Uh, Spirit of the Night is fantastic. It gives us flying and spectral tears. It's a very good defensive item in my opinion. It lets us stay out of harm's way for the most part. I need to get some spirit hearts going. Puberty, that's fine. Doesn't do anything at all, it just makes our character grow those little hairs at the top of his head. Which is a-okay with me. Uh, I don't want to get too close to these guys. They really scoot around. I'm not a fan of when they do that. That's spooky. Spooky scary. So I will... I will shoot these poops, just because I don't have any money. And I have four keys. So if I can, if I get any amount of money, I'm going to donate it to the shop. If uh, if there's nothing there and I don't have enough to buy anything or something like that, simply because I would really like to get these shop upgrades finished. Ooh, that's that's really nice. Range upgrade, fantastic. Range. Oh. Paralysis, less good, but fine. 
Um, less good, but still okay. So, uh, let's just use it. Why not? Why not? Um, what do we have here? Wall. Wall creeper guys, whatever you want to call them. And the shop, which, as I said, I will go into just to donate one cent. It doesn't seem like it's a very good use of a key, but, I mean, uh, I should hit the secret room before I donate this penny, just in case, just in case, uh, it could be there. No, it could not be there. Could it be below us, then? Um, yeah, I believe this looks like a secret room template to me, and it is phenomenal. From it, we get a key and a key beggar. I'm gonna blow them up because of the amount of bombs we have. Ooh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, it's good, and I think it's better than the fuse cutter. So I think we take it. That was unfortunate that we didn't get any money, so we can't buy that spirit heart or anything like that. But I think for now we have enough health to keep going. I would definitely like some more health, but I think that we should be good for a while. I don't I don't know how well we're gonna do... Huh? Oh, whoops, I thought that was the boss room. I don't know how well we are going to do in the womb with this amount of health, so I really hope that we can find one more. But I do like that we have nine lives. So even if we do fail a lot, I think we are relatively strong, so we should be strong enough to complete... Ooh, that's tempting. I'm gonna do it. Just because, yes, Guppy! Guppy the dream! The dream has come true, everybody. We are Guppy. We're gonna take it just so we go to Guppy right away. Fantastic. I don't know if you heard those achievements pop. Whoop, I'm taking too much damage. This is bad. Okay. I'm gonna leave him there simply so that I can open this without having any trouble. Okay. Oh, great. You have hands. Death's touch. That's very good. Okay. Uh, I think there's more hands. Yes. Oh, I almost walked right into that zombie. That would have been very bad. I literally walked right into that one. That makes me feel terrible. Uh, fear shot against zombies is phenomenal because they will turn away from you. Which is very helpful. Okay, we got some pills for it. Hopefully we can get a pill that helps us. Please, balls of steel. Give me another balls of steel pill. I'm going to wait this out, actually. I don't want to go into a room with one heart. And, uh, are you a wizard? That's a death sentence. Are you a wizard makes us shoot in this weird V pattern. And it's, it's difficult to aim in this pattern. So I will wait for this to stop. Please. Please. There we go. Alright, let's go down. Let's not go down. Let's go to the... Ooh. ooh, I'm gonna blow up some skulls for a black heart. You never know. And I feel with four bombs it's worth it. None there. Uh, I think if I put it here or so, I should be able to get that one as well. None from there. That's a shame. As long as I have one bomb, I'm relatively, relatively satisfied with that. Okay. Uh, pill. One makes you larger. No, thank you. Bombs. I need spirit hearts. Spirit hearts, spirit hearts, spirit hearts. Uh, we can fly so we don't have to worry about stepping on these spikes, which is very helpful. Uh, let's check out our item room. Ooh, that's not very good. It's guardian fly, I believe is what it's called. I don't know, smart fly, revenge fly, whatever. If we get hit, he turns into a relatively okay item. But before we get hit, he's not very good. Three dollar bill is really carrying us. Please, good pills, good pills. Health up, oh, oh ho ho. Fantastic. Paralysis, I don't think we need. I'll take this with me just in case if I accidentally hit the button. It's not a death sentence. These guys aren't so bad, even though they spawn these flies. Uh, swarm flies, I believe the pointed ones are called. 
Ooh, and we can fly so we can get this for free. And there's a bomb there. Since we're getting a bomb, I don't feel bad about putting a bomb down. Yeah, because we have the chance for a spirit heart. Phenomenal. Um, we're not getting a bomb on this side, so I don't think we need to put one down. That is our trinket that's giving us the key from the coin. Um, do we have any more? No, none that are going to give us anything. Let's go up here. Uh, to the left. Angel fetuses. That's spooky. They're usually relatively tough, but for this floor, I suppose they're easy. Okay, we're doing fantastic. I believe that this run could potentially bring us all the way home. And there's a hand. There's a hand. Is that all the hands? I believe that's all the hands. That is all the hands. Phenomenal. Let's keep going. Keep it going. These bats are not very difficult, especially when they're feared. This run is... I, I'm satisfied with this run. Champion's Belt. I would love to get Champion's Belt. That is a damage upgrade that also makes more champion enemies spawn. It's it's a sure. It's a it's a double-edged sword, but really, is it really the the champion? Thing? I saw him, but I couldn't get out of the way fast enough. The champions drop us more consumables anyway, so it's really not that big of a deal. Okay, we really can't be taking that damage either. I'm going to use this for the secret room because I don't believe that we have found it yet. Okay, pill. Lemon party, that's okay. Pill. Another lemon party. Hmm. Uh, we can use it on this guy. Almost entirely took him down by itself. That's very nice. Uh, this is depth of one, correct? Yes. So we can kill this boss. The adversary. This is not a very easy boss. I don't like this... Okay, never mind. That was... That was probably the easiest fight of my life. Uh, Rotten Baby. I think right now I value my health more than I value damage. Simply because we already have a ton of damage, so I don't think I need to take Rotten Baby for a heart. I think that the heart is more important right now. That might be the wrong call, but that's the call I'm going to make. Uh, I'm going to explore more to see if, one, I can get some form of tarot card from these skulls, or something similar, or if I can get money for the shop so we can get champions belts. Uh, we gotta. We have six keys. Okay, that's fantastic. We should get more keys because of our trinket as well. We didn't get a ton, but we got enough. We got enough. Uh, right there is the secret room as well. Let's head on in there. We have tons of consumables. This room is going very well for us. Uh, that's fine. We got a couple bombs. I think we're going to blow these guys up. Simply because they could give us money. Uh, he gave us spiders. I'm actually really sad that we only got one of the guys out of that. So I'm going to take this one. Because we got two bombs in this room. I don't feel bad about that. And we got 15 cents and two keys. For two bombs, that's phenomenal. Well, we got two keys, or two cents, but those two cents gave us our 15 cents. So I believe that was worthwhile. One guy left. Oh, of course I get Proptosis. There we go. Fly's got him, though. Proptosis from $3 bill, of course. Let's go and get Champion's Belt. As if we need more damage, but still. Champion's Belt is... I'm going to take this because we could get PhD. But uh, Champion's Belt is very good. I don't think it's worth just skipping it. Even though there is a Spirit Heart. We could go Spirit Heart and donate. That would give us enough. That would give us enough to upgrade our shop. Um, I think we should do that, actually. Because it's, it's extremely important to get our shop upgraded. One more. Fantastic. Is it 25? Oh, it's 25, isn't it? Oh, boy. Did I mess up. Well, we can still get one more cent from something, I'm sure. And we still have next floor's shop. Ooh, maybe we can shoot these fires and get a cent. If we can shoot these fires and get a cent, then we can get our shop upgrade on this floor, which would be phenomenal. And we can. Phenomenal. That is fantastic. 
so now our shop will be slightly better not a lot better but noticeably better I believe it's 25 cents okay I guess not maybe we already have it that's a distinct possibility but oh well what is this pill one makes you larger uh, that's better to take than paralysis actually yes it won't change if we get PhD but I think it's fine because I, I really don't want to accidentally use it okay this is depth 2 this is the mom floor let's check here oh we can't we don't have one heart that is the boss trap room we can only go in there if we have one heart this is a double key room um, we gotta check it out two I believe that rerolls everything on the ground. Hermit, that's better than what we had. Alright. We get a key, we get a bomb, we get two chests. Pill is range up. That's that's like what the third or fourth range up pill we've gotten, that's very nice. We have enough keys for the rest of the game, so I'm gonna take safety cap. And I'm gonna be satisfied with that. Alright, Mulligans is fine by me. We have so many flies, we do so much damage. If we don't win this game, if we don't win this round, I'm gonna be very sad. Okay, we have to kill everything before the white guy who flies around dies. Uh, this run is going swimmingly. I don't think it could be going much better than this. I'm having a fantastic time, and I hope you watching are enjoying it as well. Okay, more of these dank guys. I have to figure out their name. It's dank something. Ooh, that's nice. Sacks are very good in this game. They give some of the best some of the best stuff. The Emperor. That's really good. Uh, two of spades I'm gonna use right away. The moon card is the secret room, so I'll I'll use that. Ooh, good amount of money. That's nice. Oops. And we can go right back down to where we were, right here. Um, what was this one? The Hermit. We don't need that. Uh, the Emperor will take us straight to the boss. And I think that's going to be incredibly useful when we get down to the Womb. Preferably the Womb too. That way we don't have to go through the floor. We can just straight away fight the boss. Okay, let's keep going. These are Angel Fetuses again. Almost tagged me by accident there. Alright, let's open this. Fantastic. So these zombie guys can fly as well, but it's very nice that we got an explosion over that tinted rock from our fire shots. That is the mom fight. Um, we definitely have to go to our item room first. And the shop. If I can donate all the money I have right now to the shop, I would be incredibly happy. Or if they just have a good item for sale that I can buy, I would also be incredibly happy. Um, these guys are fine. We have fire tears, so we have to stay a little bit at a distance because of that. Those explosions can hurt us. Okay. And from our item room, oh, okay, as if we needed this, but this is the wafer. This gives us uh, half damage uh, taken. So our damage resistance for the womb is, instead of taking a full heart on the womb, we will be taking half a heart, which is fantastic. That's, it's, uh, we, we won, basically. And in the shop, good. Uh, we don't need the key, but if our donation machine stops with five cents, since this is the last shop, because you don't get shops on the womb, uh, I believe that I will just buy the key. There we go. Alright, let's donate as much as we can. Alright, no key, which is fine. Wow, that let us donate a lot. I found pills, not required. Alright, let's go beat mom. Uh, this should be a really easy mom fight. We're doing a ton. Let's actually explore this room. Wrath, that's good. I'll take some bombs. I mean, we have more than enough, but... I'll take a couple more. And we got some chests if we get money, which we do. We can donate more, which is phenomenal. Work our way towards the next uh, shop upgrade. Hopefully we can donate all six of this. Uh, shop's down here. 
Yes. Hopefully we can donate all this. If not, there is that key still. Which we don't need. We have 19 keys. That's more than enough for the rest of the game. Alright. There we go. 50 cents, I believe, gives us there's options. Um, oh, the achievement was in the bottom right. I don't know if... You could see that, but the achievement popped for there's options. Uh, we already went to the secret room. We have the Emperor card. We are ready. Once you enter the mom fight, you cannot leave, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm double checking. We have enough health, we don't need to bomb that. Alright, mom, prepare yourself. Oh, oops. She didn't lay her foot down like I thought she was going to there. Oh, there's the hand. Well, whatever. We have enough health right now that this shouldn't make a difference. There's her foot. I think we're good. Pretty much no matter what. Alright, we get Roid Rage. Pretty good item. And down to the womb we go. We will do all of this floor. Well, we'll do until the uh, the boss room because there are no item rooms on the womb. Pills. What pills? One makes you larger. No thank you. There are no item rooms here, as I said, but there is a boss. And the boss is a womb boss. So we have plenty of keys. We can do this. Let me get out of there just in case. This is Lemon Party. Our Emperor card is very valuable, so... Uh... Yeah, I'll take Lemon Party with me so that I can use it, like so. Perfect. That helped a surprising amount. Whoa, you almost got me with that. Actually, I don't think I can take damage from Creep because I can fly. Okay, there we go. Good, good. Ten cents from that. Too bad there's no shops in the womb either. I uh, gotta go back for the Emperor card. I almost hit that poop, which would have been bad because it's red poop. Curse room. We can go into the curse room for half damage because of... Oh, this is good, potentially. Because of the uh, item we got last floor, Wafer. I'm going to use a second bomb here to blow these up as well. Because Spirit Hearts would be very nice. Ooh, I don't, I don't want that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. That would, uh, that would hurt our chances a lot. Well, depending on who you ask, I guess. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of that item. That is, I believe that was Kane's eye. Ooh, range up, very nice. Which, uh, Kane's other eye, I should say. Which, uh, granted, it does help us stat-wise. But it also gives us a, a drawback where if we get hit while we are charging the shot, then we are randomly teleported. Which doesn't sound bad, but we don't want to get teleported in the middle of a fight. Or at least I don't. Especially not in the middle of a boss fight. That would be horrible. But uh, I think we have this game in the bag. Even if we took that, I think we have this game in the bag. We have plenty of keys, we don't have to worry about this. What is this? This range? Oh, this is Lemon Party. I will use Lemon Party again, the same way I did last time. Easy money. Then we will come back up here and take our Emperor. Actually, we'll take a pill. Oh, uh, Retrovision. That's fine. That is not my definition dropping. That is the Retrovision pill. As you can see, it has now turned off. Almost. Oh, oh I thought I was gone. I thought I was a damage taker right there, but, uh... Double Gertie is a bit of a pain. I definitely could have flown around to the back and probably had a better time back here, but I didn't think about that. Squeezy is phenomenal. It's exactly what we want. We want more health. And then this should be the end, because I'm going to Emperor card right away. Go right into the boss battle. Against Mom's Heart. And we got triple shot, explosive shot, uh, death's touch. I'm just gonna go buck wild here and uh, just shoot into it because we have the damage to not really worry about it. And that's a victory. Phenomenal. Easy peasy.
I believe that is now the unlock for another character, which we will probably be showing off in the next episode, I'm not entirely sure, but this is what our file screen looks like now. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Again, if there are anything that you think, if there's anything that you think I could do better, if the in-game volume is still too loud, if I'm not talking loud enough, if the video is too long, anything like that, just tell me and I will do my best to fix it. So, thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll hope to see you on my next video.